Hello, Miss Ray Mama here. My name is Nina, and today I am doing my Thursday friend to my makeup for the Women Who Collab group. And I was paired up with Nancy this week, and she chose my Coca Cola Morphe Cherry Coke palette. I have not used this one yet. So she chose Very Cherry Fruity Fierce with a twist yum yum and pretty please i don't know if you can see those so this one this one this one this one and this one so i'm going to jump in and create a look and i'll try to remember to say the shades um i already have my eye primer on i already have a base on um so yeah let me jump into this look and then we'll try to show you about some of the products I got to try lately. So I'm going to go into that Yum Yum, the light pink shade. Um, so I don't, if you've seen some of my Amazon videos, I'm in a program called Amazon Blind where I can pick out a few products to test out and do a review on. For free, I just have to pay the taxable value if it has any. Um, makeup products usually do not. And I've gotten lucky this month and got to try some like name brand stuff that I normally would not be able to purchase. And some of the best ones that I've been able to try, I'm actually wearing right now. Um, so, I mentioned in another video the Laura Geller bronzer stick. That one's been amazing for my contour. Um, it's really easy to blend out. It's a dream. And then I've worn it a couple of times, but I went ahead and put it on today because I really like it. I got one of the Sigma cream blushes on there. I've never tried any Sigma products, so the cream blush wasn't my first time trying their products. This is going on brighter than I was expecting. But anyways, the blush works so nicely. It's amazing. Now I'm going into Fruity Fierce, the darker color. And I will show that to you in a second. But it goes on really nice. It melts into the skin. Easy to blend. It's really nice. I would love to be able to get more shades. I want to try the eyeshadow. But... But their palettes are on the pricier side. Um, and this month is kind of a expensive month for my family. We have so many birthdays. I 
Alright, so now I'm going to go into with a twist. Let's see if this one will. Now I'm going to Berry Cherry. Sorry if you can hear my lizard, she's being kind of ornery lately. I think she's wanting a boy lizard. But that's a whole mess I'm not dealing with. It's... It can be quite risky for females. Bearded dragons, because they can get egg bound. And there's not really... A vet around here that does that anymore. That like does um, exotic pets. So we have to travel up into the city. And it's just not worth it. Plus I have to get like a whole new tank set up and everything to get another lizard. And I got some of that shimmer up on my crease line. And that's what I need to match. So. But yeah, she's, I'm pretty sure it's that season for them, or at least she thinks it is. Because no matter what I do, she's not happy right now, so. Pretty sure she wants a boy lizard, and even without a boy lizard, she can still get egg bound, because she still lays unfurled eggs. But having a boy lizard and breeding is a whole mess I don't feel like getting into. I feel like there's... You know, not really a need for me to. Like, I don't think there's a shortage of bearded dragons. Yeah. It's kind of like with my dogs, I don't breed them either. I mean, there's not really, there's not a shortage of dogs that need homes, so. And it's not anything I want to do. My stepmom was a breeder, so. I've seen that side of things, and it's just not a interest of mine. And my stepmom wasn't like one of those backyard breeders, but it can still be quite chaotic. She did little dogs and oh man, the problems they could have.
I'm worrying about him going so good home. Nothing bad happening to him. That's all like stuff I don't need to add to my life. And that is definitely something that would keep me, that would add to my already bad sleeping pattern. Worrying about that, so. Um, now I'm going to go into Pretty Please for my inner corner. I'm looking a little crazy. Well, I was not expecting that much pigment in that. I'm actually going to take a little bit of that just right on the inner part of the eyelid. Something like I think I have a light pink somewhere. Yeah, this Wonder Skin One More Eyeliner. I can't remember. Icing, that's the shade name. I have this from Amazon Barn as well, and I really like it. Guys, like right on. So real quick, I'll show you this blush. It's gorgeous. So it's the Sigma Cream Blush Corda di Rosa, and I mean it's like super melty. And it just blends so beautifully. And you can build it up. I actually built it up on my cheeks a tiny bit. Because I put it on light to begin with. I don't even know if you can tell I'm wearing blush. But I oh, am. Yeah. <laughs> I just wear it really light. And then this concealer by IT. Bye Bye Dark Spot. Corrector and Serum. I just got this in today. And it's amazing. Like it outperformed all the ones I've been trying from that I've been using. I have a Wet n Wild, Ferrara, Cara. Ur Perez. And Item Beauty. I have that one too. And that thing just knocked them all out of the water. That was like mascara. Um, this is a mascara I actually got from there too. Amara. Thick long mascara. I'm just gonna throw this on real quick.
I'm not molded. I'm going to use this. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to use this Divine Rose by Pat McGrath I got from Etsy. It's just a little mini. I do feel like I need some more blush. This look kind of washed it all out. So. I'm going to use this Catrice Air Blush that I got from Amazon Fine as well. Spice Base. I really like this one. It says more what I was going for than that. Let me see if I can tone it down just a bit. So that is my finished look for today. Let me know down below what you think. It's a lot brighter than I expected the colors to be. So make sure you go check out everybody else's looks. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.